This tutorial will show the step one process of how to intake a client in ULaw and how simple it can be. Okay, to intake a client in ULaw, you click on the contacts panel, then you'll click on new contacts and you'll click on client. You'll enter the first name, the last name, then you can enter things like his company name, his uh, profession, and if it's a corporation, you would click on this and then enter all the corporation details. You can add addresses. ULaw has a smart dictionary. As you're typing, it recognizes what you're typing. It will prompt you. You can also add more addresses, like for example, a business address. Mark which one is a mailing address. And then you can give a couple of uh, phone numbers and you can give his email address and hit the save button. As soon as you save the contact, the first thing that you need to do is do a conflict check. To do a conflict check on this contact, you just click on action button and click on conflict screening. Now you have several choices. You can do for all matters or you can do uh, just for the dockets and you'd hit the conflict screening button. As you see in the conflict screening, um, what it does is it, it displays the contact and then shows all other contacts that you could have dealt in the past which can have a reference very similar to this. For example, there's one person by name George George. There's an incorporation by name, you know, <clears throat> George Limited. And it also finds a spelling mistake. There was one called Gorge Smitherman, which is matching with George with just one letter off. So it even finds those kind of issues. Once you've finished conflict screening, the next thing that you will do for George is you'll create a matter. So you'll click on that matter button. And you'll say what kind of a matter it is. Let's assume this is like a, a small claims matter. So you can say George versus Dean. Then you can click on the type and you can choose what kind of, uh, you know, a matter it is. In this case, let me choose its small claims and hit the save button. As part of the intake process, you can immediately start generating several documents in ULaw. Like for example, you can click on document generation here and you can generate client ID verification. What the software does is it takes all the fields that you have entered and pre-populates the client ID verification from you. In this case, it has uh, pre-populated his name, his uh, mailing address, his business address, his home and business uh, phone numbers, his company, uh, you know, the file number. All you need to do is, you know, enter in this form is the type of uh, document that you took from uh, George to actually verify his identity. In this case, maybe it's like a driver's license. Since you just uh, completed conflict screening, you may want to generate a conflict screening document as a proof that you finished conflict screening by just clicking on document generation conflict screening. Now this document, again, has all the details filled in. You can just mark in that he's a new client, you can declare that there's no conflict and you can just sign. If you have negotiated with George to have a retainer, you will go on the disbursement slash retainer tab, click on new retainer, enter the amount, and then enter the check number or any other you know detail. And then you can enter the trust account. Maybe you want to generate a receipt, you can just click on the receipt button and do an apply. Now, as part of completing the entry of the retainer, it'll ask you to download the receipt. You can just download the receipt. You can sign, get George's signature, then there's a duplicate. The retainer is all customized with your logo and your banner, and you're ready to go. The next document, obviously, that you want to do after receiving the retainer is actually generate a retainer letter. So you can click on document generation, retainer letter, EULA has several formats. You can have a simple retainer, an elaborate one, a flat rate one. You can even have other templates like hourly retainers, contingency retainers. You can generate all that in seconds. Other forms of documents that you can generate in EULA include uh, authorization letters. And if you click on letters, you can generate uh, business letterheads, master letterheads, uh, intake documents, hourly and uh, uh, contingency retainer, even a disposition letter. 
And if the client uh, chooses not to engage with you, you can even generate a non-engagement letter. So to summarize, after you create the client, you create the matter, then you take in the new retainer and you can start generating the following documents all in one click. Client ID verification, followed by conflict screening, followed by retainer letter, then a retainer receipt payment, authorization letters, you know, business letterheads, you know, different kinds of retainer letterheads, and even a non-engagement if the client chooses not to engage with you anymore.